This is video 13 for Math Lesson 1.9, Part 1. The topic of this lesson is prime factorization. In the math message, you were asked to think of other names for 16. Now, one way that we can think about equivalent names for a number is something that we call a factor string. You might have some factor strings in your name collection for 16. Here's what a factor string is. By the way, you'll want to put these in your notebooks. Today's topic is prime factorization, so this should be the title, prime factorization. And let's put factor string down. This is what a factor string is. A multiplication expression with two or more factors. One cannot be used in a factor string. So for example, factor strings for 20. We could have 2 times 10. There we have a multiplication expression with two factors. 4 times 5 is also a factor string for 20. 2 times 2 times 5 is also a factor string for 20. If we multiply the, out these expressions, the answer, the product, will be 20. 2 times 2 is 4, times 5 is 20. All of these three are different factor strings for the number 20. Maybe on your list for 16, besides 4 times 4, you might have had 2 times 8. That's another factor string for 16. You Maybe you even had 2 times 2 times 4, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Those would all be factor strings for 16. However, 1 times 16 would not be a factor string for 16, because remember, one the number 1 cannot be used in a factor string. We can kind of compare factor strings by looking at how long they are. If we notice this string has two factors, so its length is two. This string has two factors, its length is two. This string here has three factors in it, so we would say that its length is three. Now, there's something special about the longest factor string that can be made for a number. We call this the prime factorization. Prime factorization is the longest factor string for a number. All the factors in the string are prime numbers. Okay, if you take a look back at these factor strings for 20, the longest factor string was right here, 2 times 2 times 5. All of those factors are prime numbers. 2 is prime, 5 is prime. You will know that you have found the longest factor string if you can see that all of the factors in the string are prime. If you have a factor in the string that's not a prime number, then that can be broken down more. And so you still haven't found the longest string. So let's make sure we have these notes in your notebook as well. Prime factorization. Prime factorization is the longest factor string for a number. All the factors in the string are prime numbers. Those are really important parts to remember. The longest factor string for 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. So this is the prime factorization of 20. Always make sure that you are checking. Every factor in the longest factor string will be a prime number. Always. If you have some composite numbers in the string, you still have not found the longest string. Let's take a look at another example. What is the prime factorization for 18? Well, we know that 18 equals 2 times 9. But 2 times 9 is not the longest possible string because we know that 9 is a composite number. 9 equals 3 times 3. So we could put that 3 times 3 in place of our 9, and we know that 18 equals 2 times 3 times 3. 
At this point, we know that we have the longest string. And the reason we know that is because every factor in this string, 2 times 3 times 3, every factor is a prime number. 2 is prime, 3 is prime. All factors are prime numbers, so it is the longest string to make 18. Therefore, the answer to the question, what is the prime factorization for 18? That answer is 2 times 3 times 3. On pages 25 and 26 in your math journal, there's additional practice working with factor strings. And also, some reminders about exponents and how exponents can be used when we're working with factor strings. Complete those pages for our next math class.